Okay, sixth grade, lesson 18. And this is on averaging in line graphs. Pretty simple one. Pretty much review. Okay, but let's talk about average. Let's look at pancakes. Okay, and let's say you and Daddy, this is uh, Isaac. This is Daddy. This is Eli. Okay, how many pancakes does Eli have right now? I have four, that's seven. Seven. How many does Daddy have? Six. Five. Five. How many does Isaac uh, have? Yeah. Three. Three. Okay, you've got seven, Daddy's got five, and you, Eli, I mean, Isaac's got three. Now, to find the average is to find it evenly. It's not fair that you've got more. Right? Sort of. <laughs> you think it would be fair. But look, Isaac's left out. He doesn't have near as many. So we need to take these pancakes, put them all together, and then divide them out. So what am I doing? Taking all the pancakes, putting them all together. Then what am I doing? Dividing them out. Well, you could just take two of mine. The three. Yes. Okay. So let's count how many... Um, pancakes we have all together. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 pancakes. I added them all together. 7 plus 5 plus 3 equals 15. Mm -hmm. Then after I got the amount, how do I get them evenly? By taking this 15 and dividing, dividing it by 3. 3. So because I have 3 categories or 3 different groups, I'm going to take this 15 and divide it by 3. And what do I end up getting? What is 15 divided by 3? It's 5. Right? So, I know that the answer of the average is 5. That means that everybody should get 5. So, I'm going to take 2 away from you and add them to Isaac's. And now, everybody's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See that? That is how you average. Okay, isn't that pretty cool? Okay, uh -huh. but how it would look in the world, how you would use this in the world is like this. Let's say you worked at a, an aquarium that had a bunch of fish, okay? And there were four aquariums that you had sitting out. And in those aquariums, there were 28 goldfish, 27 goldfish in another, 26 goldfish in the other one, and then the last aquarium, there were 31 goldfish. Now, it's not fair that some aquariums, like if I came in and I wanted to buy an aquarium, it wouldn't be fair if the same price was written on all of them because I get more fish if I buy this one, but they're both listed as 20 bucks each. You see what I'm saying? So I need to get the goldfish even so that when whoever buys them, it's fair. So how am I going to do that? You divide it by four. Close. What do I do first? Remember you what we did with all. all the pancakes? You add them all. Add them all first. So let's add them all. Um, eight. Um, let's do seven plus one more is eight plus six is 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One hundred and twelve goldfish in all. Then what do I do with those 112 goldfish? Divide it into four. Divide it by four because there are four aquariums. Very good. So 112 divided by four. Now, let's just do normal division. Four goes into 11. The smiley face. Two times, yes. <laughs> four times two is eight. Nine, 10, 11. Subtract. Bring down. Four goes into 32. How many times? Eight. And we get even amounts. So what does that tell me? How much goes in each aquarium? Uh, 28. 28. And that would be good. That's a good even amount to put in each one. So I know that I need to take a few from this one, add a few to this one, and add a one to this one, right? Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. That is averaging. Now, let's do one last thing. If I ask you... 
Stay with me for a minute. Okay. What number is halfway between 27 and 81? What number is halfway? There's an easy way to do this. Are we rounding this? No, but that's a good idea. I mean, that's what you've learned so far how you do that, okay? But I want to know what is in the middle between 27 and 81. Um, what you're going to do is find the average. Isn't that cool? So watch what I do. 81 plus 27, I end up getting 108. And 108 divided by 2 is 54. So all I need to do is take and add it to... Okay, as I was saying, um, so we would take and add up these numbers and we got 108. Then you're going to divide that number, divided by 2, and it'll bring us to our middle number. So that's a very good thing to have to figure out what is the middle number of something is you take the two numbers, add them together, and divide it by 2. And that gives an easy way. All right? You got it? Yep. All right. The last thing we're going to look at is a line graph. Okay? And let me show you a picture of what a line graph would look like. So stay with me. Draw this on your paper if you'd like. Okay? Over here, I'm going to have the height of something, height of something, and over here, I'm going to have age. Now, what this is talking about is a girl named Margie, okay, and we're trying to figure out um, at what age and how, high, how tall she was at a certain age. So down here, we've got an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, so I'm going to make it a little bit longer. And then heights, and we're going to do it in inches, so I'm going to put I in for inches, okay? Height in inches, um, it's going to have 44 down at the very bottom, and then it's going to go up by fours each time, okay? So 44, 48, 52, 56, 60, 64, and 68, all right? That's our height in inches. Now, to help us out with this, I'm going to draw a line starting at the age all the way up. Because this is called a line graph, okay? Then over here, where it says 44, I'm going to draw a line from each of the inches, measurement 48 inches, and it ends up creating like a chart. At each, at each number, you're going to put a line. Okay, you end up getting something like that. Okay. Now, at 8 years old, she was 48 inches. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go at 8 years old, she was 48. So I'm going to put a dot. 8 years old, 48 inches. At 9 years old, she was 50 inches. So we don't have a 50. So what should I end up doing? Do uh, in between forty-eight and fifty-two, right? Because yeah. that's the halfway. So at nine she was fifty. So I'm going to do in between forty-eight and fifty-two because forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. So that's a good spot to put it in the middle. Then at ten she was fifty-two inches. So ten, fifty-two. Then she made a huge jump when she was eleven years old. She was 57 inches. So an 11 year old, here's 56 inches. 57 would just be a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Then when she was 12, she was 60 inches. So I'm gonna go to my 12 year old and go to my 60 inches and put it on there. At 13 years old, she didn't grow very much, just a tad. She grew um, up to 62 inches, so at 13, she went to halfway between 60 and 64, which was 62. And then at last, she just went one more inch at a 14-year-old and was 63. So she didn't quite make it to 64, so I'm going to put it right there. 14-year-old, 63 inches. So what this helps you to see is we're going to connect the dots. So... I'm going to go from here to here, then from there to there, then from there to there, then to there to there, there, and there. Now, 
I can easily watch and see what's happened to her height by looking at a line graph. Now, if I asked you, um, which year did Margie grow the most? Uh, 11. From 11, from... 10 to 11. 10 to 11. So from the age 10 to 11, she jumped significantly. Very good. And we're able to see that by looking at a line graph. You see that? So it's always good to draw a line graph so you can always see information better. Okay? That is lesson 18.